Welcome back to the review and today we we'll take a look at another art of book and today it's going to be The Art of Disney Frozen 2. That's right, this is gonna be a page through of the Art of Disney Frozen 2 book. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is JD, and I do proc reviews of all kinds of products. This is something that's gonna come up next. I have art of books like these, I have animation books, all kinds of things that I cover, but I also cover animation lectures, rig reviews, animation news, all kinds of things on this channel. And if this is something of interest to you, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of those uploads. But enough of the pitch, you know it's YouTube, you gotta do it. Let's get straight to the book. There you have it. That is the book here. You got the front. You can see how thick it is here. This is the back and it is covered in this, which I can take off here. You'll see that is the actual book here. There's nothing like that. You got the spine here and that is the book. As you open it, you got this in here. First couple of pages, you got art right away. You got the contents. This is broken up into different chapters. Arendelle, air, earth, fire, and water. Those color scripts and acknowledgements. You got the foreword here by Chris Bock, Darren Philly, and Peter Del Vecco. Vecco? I'm assuming Vecco. And if you look at the back here of this one, it tells you who they actually are. As we continue here, you got the introduction. Then you got here the icons for the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. All right, you got part one, Arendelle, and you can see a top view of the village. You can see here more of a 3D view of what it looks like. And it already starts with flags and decorations. Lots of detail here for the village. And we don't lose any time. You go straight into Anna and Elsa. And I love this just because it has a lot of interesting facial poses and body poses for you as an animator, just for reference. In terms of something like this, we have a lot of energy, the line of action here, different expressions. It starts off already with really dynamic poses and cool details. You can see this here, sketches for what the costumes are going to be. Let's go through here, there's a lot to see. Love all this. I love seeing that it's not just like the final product, but kind of going into detail of how it was created, detail work in terms of the costumes and details for the hair, variations of color. Again, rough sketches and something a bit more detailed, going into details like this. Switching to Elsa with the final outfit, different colors. Love seeing also different sides, front and back and side. Again, different sketches and different versions for all the costumes. Travel outfit. Here's the Anna final epilogue outfit. Spoilers! Back and side as well. You can see this here, you got more concept designy kind of artwork with more final products here. You have the Elsa epilogue, material and detail reference, and this is pretty cool too. You have that and you can see this with and without detail with the plastic insert here with that page insert. Then we're moving on to Kristoff and Swen. That's just unfortunately just one, two pages here. Then you have Olaf with a little bit of a storyboard. And I mean, if you want more of that, you can go into a Frozen 1 art of book here. Continues with Arendellians, really cute, cute designs. You love seeing all the variations. Again, if you are creating a shot for your animation, you can look at kind of the, the modification of characters, the scale, the costume design. It's pretty neat, it's always good for reference. Part two, we get to air, you got the Enchanted Forest. Detail for environments here, you can see that here you have a scale chart, more details about nature. Then you get to Matias, Matias, where you have rough sketches, also final designs. Not spending too much time on this character, you get into the shipwreck. Very moody, I love this here, I love all that. Composition with all the lines leading to the ships, very cool. Double pages here, we get to Agnar and Iduna, where you have that kit form. Again, going from sketches to more final designs. But this is really cool in terms of just the posing. That's why I love the, the art of books where you have rough sketches, a bit more final designs, but also just body poses and character poses. Again, good for reference. You can see how dynamic they can be. There's the wind spirit, like something like that. You can see how it just pushes the girl up and you can see the force in the hair and the costume. Got different versions of the wind spirit here. More details. Part three, Earth. Milana, you got more character designs here. Continuing with more designs. Again, loving all of that here. It's paging through. You get creatures. The Earth Giants this is really neat. Showing off how they would sit, how it would fit into the landscape here. Love this. You love that scale difference here. 
They're cool creatures in the movie. Part four, you got into the fire. Got the fire spirit, super cute. <laughs> Front and side. Different versions here for the flames. You got fire and ice sequence, some storyboards. You got the lost caverns. A little bit of storyboard pages. Water, the dark sea. Again, character poses front and side for costume design. The water spirit. Different versions, a bit bigger, a bit thinner. It'll flow. It was really cool. Really well done in the sequence too. And throughout, you got more exploration in terms of what they were going for with, for instance, head of effects here. Explaining what they were going for, what the inspiration was, and what the process was. You get more details here about eye structure and shapes. Into the unknown mist. You got some storyboards here as well. Then we're getting to the final chapter here with more explorations of what it's going to look like. Then more details in terms of the structure and how it leads into the final element here. Then we have a color script. You got two pages of that. Then you got different seasons for this and that. You can see here how it changes digital art. And then acknowledgements at the end with the last page like this, another piece of artwork. And that is the last page into this with dog hair. My dog, the hair gets everywhere. I can open something, just unbox it and it's brand new and I have dog hair in it. I don't know what's going on. But there you go, that's it. That is the book without the cover. And again, that is what you get over it. There you have it, kind of a page through of the Art of Disney Frozen 2. I have more art of books behind me, somewhere up there. So there's more to come. Hope this was helpful to see kind of a, a peek, peek, like a page through of the whole thing so you can see if it's worth it to you to buy. The original price here is $40, but usually you can get it for 25 or 30, depending on whether we go to bookstores or Amazon, where we want to go and shop. It's usually not the full price. And if you're still watching, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next upload.